Hi, it's Brian. We're in to February the 12th, and uh, this is a broadcast from uh, Paradise, New Zealand. And um, I've been uh, saying some fairly provocative things lately, so provocative that some people, uh, it appears, in the US find it difficult to cope with. They don't like free speech, and they think I should go and... Uh, actually, the, the bluntness of the... Uh, 22 year old who last sent me a message um, was just extraordinary and I removed him of course because I don't like uh, bad manners and I think we can be civil and polite to one another and if you're going to be abusive <clears throat> you want to show your face and what you want to do is say where you're from because you see <clears throat> I'm down here in New Zealand suffering the consequences of what America's doing to the rest of the world and some guy says to me it's not my business. Who does he think he is? I'm telling you, what happens in America is the business of the entire world because you're the biggest economy and when you tank, we tank with you. And there's another issue about this. We're a global community now. And everything that happens is linked and interlinked. This is a channel for free speech and this is a channel for a free exchange of ideas. But don't be abusive, you know, keep to some rules of uh, civility, and, and let's be polite, doesn't cost anything to be polite, we're going to have our differences of opinion and so forth, but uh, don't just come on and emotionally rant and rave, I mean, and uh, be, be as thoughtful, and be provocative, but, you know, there are limits to, to how much... Uh, you should you should be careful about what you say, particularly when you're too frightened to actually show your face. I mean, here I am saying who I am, a little guy down here in a little country, and but I've got to tell you that American politics washes all around the world, and I sure ain't going to keep quiet about it. But however, don't be so ignorant as to think that what's happening in America is unique. This is actually a global situation. We're into global dimensions. The Swiss banks are running huge losses. And uh, we all know that they got some money the wrong way, and they're pretty robust institutions. But when the Swiss banks start tanking, you know, it's really serious stuff. This is actually a challenge to the established order. And what I'm saying is that Abraham Lincoln talked about all this. He talked about the banks and the oppression of the people by the banks. This is not new. I get most of my ideas from Abraham Lincoln. And um, I've got to say that we really need to read a bit more about history to understand what's going on. But this is actually one horrendous financial and economic shakedown. And what's going to come out of us when we finish is going to be something which is going to be quite scary. We're going to have a global financial system which is going to be really intrusive and it's going to, it's going to actually, uh, it's, it looks so much like the uh, book of Revelations, it's not funny. And I want to get back into theological discussions and so forth. But I just want to say that uh, this is not about America anymore. This is actually about the world. And don't think we don't have the same problems that you have in America, because we do. We're another one of those countries that's tried to look like you. And we have a wonderful, wonderful natural heritage. And there are lots of people here who would like to have a wonderful, wonderful built heritage and destroy all of the natural beauty that this country has. I've been to America several times and I've seen what's happened. I've seen, I've seen over the years what's happened in the South down there in Florida where you've overdeveloped. I've seen it in just about every one of your major cities. And I've got to say that that is not a recipe for the survival of the world. I just feel very sad I know there are so many good people in America who are feeling so oppressed by the system and they are putting so much hope in this new president but it's got to be more than just one man it's got to be more it's got to be communities it's got to be, it's got to be towns it's got to be cities they have to speak they have to rise step up to a plate 
and say that there has to be change. We have to have a fair and just society, a society that is not just built on profit. Good heavens, these champions of the uh, free market are now with their hands out and not only are we subsidising these people, but they are actually being so irresponsible with the money that they are getting. I mean, chief executives and directors running around in private jets with public money, even though their institutions of business organisations and corporations have utterly failed. I mean, that is a crime against the people. See you next.